everyone, it's me, Nick Avocado. I'm back home, as she do. I'm home, hello, we're back home. Hey, skinny queen, I'm over here, cause I look so skinny when I cover up my double chin. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't working, honey. You guys, so I'm about to go out and get some Wendy's. You guys, I need to give you a little explanation for yesterday's video. Oh my god, I look so skinny with this on. <gasps> what are you supposed to be on Denny Craig? Huh? Weren't you supposed to be a Denny Craig? Well, the, don't even start. You, you, you couldn't know, even do Denny Craig. Craig. Click the link down below to follow my Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube. Must be age 18 or older. Link below. You can Denny go. Craig regular diet book of the bedtime story. You are supposed to be on Jenny Craig. But you ain't doing it. <sighs> Orland, can you leave? Leave. 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 I, People I are gonna unsub. You're supposed to be on diet. People are gonna unsub for my channel. You guys, please don't unsub. It's all his fault. Unsub from him. Ugh. Anyway, hi. <gasps> yes, so yesterday, um, I think I caught some kind of like food poisoning. Well, I'll tell you later. I don't even care. All I know is that I hope you're having a wonderful day. A little announcement. I have a few new spots open. We were sold out on my Patreon for literally like a week, and I added two more, and then I was like, no, it's getting too full. So, but, um... I opened up a couple more spots if you guys want to get more behind the scenes. I've done like so many mukbangs and live streams and weigh-ins and stuff. So if you're 18 years or older, link down below. I know I advertise it all the time, but it's the only thing I ever advertise to you. Okay. Okay. I could be asking you to buy some like makeup and hair extensions and I don't even know. Okay. Everyone has their thing. That's my thing. Okay. More content. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys are doing well. Oh, and I must say, did you know it's snowing in California? I saw it on the news and I'm like, what? This has never happened before. I'm telling you, climate change is a little creepy, eepy, eepy, a little scary. <gasps> oh my gosh, what's next? Snowing in Orlando? I need to know. It was snowing in California. So I'm sure you guys know. So you, the, where, what town was it? Um, what town was it? Not Seattle, the one below it. Um, Portland? I don't know, but it was up, no, it was like Northern California. It's not Portland, that's in Washington. Shoot. I can't even think of it. Oh my god. Oh, shoot. Those of you that have snow right now, please tell me how is it? Is it your first time seeing snow, you guys? Oh my god. Let me know if you enjoy the snow. <laughs> I kind of miss snow here in Florida. We don't see snow. We don't get snow. We get a little frost. Especially like now, like I'll wake up, it'll be like 30 degrees outside. Um, but that goes away once the sun comes up. It's, it, it gets, it gets, it's like spring, okay, like 70 degrees or whatever. I mean, yesterday was like 62, but I was really cool. But still, spring can also be 62. See, I love the winters in Florida. I really, okay, I need to say, I was, I told you guys I was gonna do some vacations. I haven't had a day off of YouTube for a very long time. Can't even think of the last time I've had a day off. I never have days off, ever. Uh, and that's my own fault too. But um, seriously, like, I was like, okay, but. Also, Florida's weather is horrible. Land of the mosquitoes, land of the sweat and the humidity and frizzy hair. And um, do you like my hair? I put in this new little um, hair gel, but it's 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 styling serum or whatever. It, it makes your hair look thicker than it really is. <gasps> Remember that spot I had? You can't even see it. You can't even see it. <gasps> So what it does, it opens up the diameter of your hair rather than just like mask it. So it does two things at once. It makes it stand up straight, which I like. A nice, nice hair that goes up hard. <laughs> and it also makes it look more fluffy than it really is. I mean, more. it looks like there's more hair, hair strands. But it's the little tech, it's expensive though. Do you guys want to know? If you don't know, I won't even tell you. Comment down below if you want to know what hair thing I'm currently wearing. I feel like one of those people on Instagram that like, my shoes are by this person, my, my purse is by, by this person, my teeth are by this person, my boobs are by this person. <laughs> you show, you tell everyone who's it by. But anyways, um, yeah, so I was gonna do some trips here in Florida, at least just local, jo Jolly Bee. I was gonna drive up north or drive to the other side or I don't even know like I want Jollibee I was gonna go to uh, Key West I wanted to do some trips but because of you know what which is why we have to wear these masks I haven't gone anywhere all winter now do you think I should just do it or do I think do you think I should care about my safety I here's the thing I know that people my age do not like it's rare for them to like pass away or something but the lifelong effects of heart problems and lung problems and neurological problems and even just like fainting and spasms. This guy's in a wheelchair and he's like 25 years old. He's in a wheelchair. He's been in a wheelchair. He, he, you know, he caught it like five months ago. He still has it. Okay, this, so it's just not worth it. So I'll have Jolly Bee maybe in a year or two when things, I don't even know. <laughs> 
that's okay. We're not gonna talk about Jolly Pea Chicken. We are gonna go to Wendy, so let's go. Let's go. I, I still, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the car. Honestly, I will see you in the vehicle. Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna pull those, all these windows up. I look so professional in all black. This makes me think I'm in my New York days. There's something wrong with my iPhone. I just got a message, failed to send Orlin home. I don't know what's wrong with my phone, but um, I accidentally just texted something to somebody that wasn't supposed to go to them. <laughs> and then I, uh, luckily it wasn't anything bad or anything naughty or anything like a profanity or anything. It was just like, just something that I would like, they shouldn't have gotten. And then um, now I just got a, me I just sent a voice memo to Orlin asking him about, um, this box that we have to we're gonna take him back the chairs because I keep breaking all my furniture. Yeah. I keep breaking all my furniture. I look kind of I look kind of skinny. I mean I look chubby but I don't look sick sickly. Like usually I'm like all swollen. Do you want to know why? So yesterday I barely ate any food. Um I I think I, I want to come clean about this. <laughs> I feel like I caught food poisoning or kind of stomach bug but it was very strange because I felt numb and tingling in my hands. My legs felt like weights they felt like anchors. I also was underslept and um I just, look at my eyes, they look so fresh. I mean, this is what, nine hours of sleep, my skin, even my hair looks better. Oh my goodness, it looks so soft and fluffy. <gasps> I don't know, this is a good day. Um, oh, anyways, here I am at Wendy's. Oh, I wanna say too, have you guys noticed that the iPhone, ever since they upgraded to the newest version, that Siri doesn't work as well? I mean, let's be real, Siri was never that good to begin with. <laughs> it's not like Alexa, but, Oh my gosh, you'll call her name and she won't even answer. And so I was just like, hey Siri, what's the weather? And she'd be like, I'm on it. One moment. I'm on it. Sorry, having difficulty. And then I tried, oh, did I, is my um Wi-Fi? Let's, let's look at my cell data. Okay, so the cell data's turned on. That's strange. So Orland's not getting any messages and Siri's not talking. But Siri, no, it's not even just today. Siri has not been cooperative for the past, ever since they did that update, which makes me very upset. So... I'm just curious, am I the only one? Or are you guys also experiencing problems with Siri too? Well, anyways, I just pulled up here to Wendy's. I'm kind of excited for this. I'm actually gonna eat. Yesterday, um, I even had some of my friends reach out to me, are you okay? <laughs> and um, I told them, I'm just like, I think it was food poisoning and underslept. And also I was going through a, something really bad happened. Um, I'm over it, but um, there's always something drama in my life. People say, oh, you just make up all your drama. No, there's a lot that goes, like I need a reality um, TV camera following me around. It's just, oh my God, this looks like a peck, not a bit. Oh, if I go like this, see how it curves? It looks like pecs. I could, I would look so good muscular, let's be real. But that ain't ever happening. You know what's really sad? I, the only time in my life where I really tried to gain muscle and look healthy was, um, unfortunately I was eating a vegan diet. And um, you guys know what my beliefs are on that. And um, I gained nothing. And I, I worked out religiously for one year. Now, obviously, if you're doing it natural without steroids or the juice or any microdosing or any kind of things, that's just so common now. Let's be real. It's so common. I mean, I'm thinking of someone else that I know that worked out for a year and he eats nothing but chicken. Or I don't know what he freaking eats now, but I don't, I mean, I don't even know him that well. But uh, I've heard from his friends and significant others and exes that all he eats is chicken. Ch he's a very picky eater, but he's eating quality, you know, protein. He's eating protein. And uh, after a year, he still looked pretty similar. Maybe he had a little more shape in his arms. So that's the reality, too. I guess people have false expectations about working out because it's so common for people to be microdosing and be on the juice and to be taking little. It's just, oh, people have no idea. People. I mean, I'm glad that I have a little training in this and I, I work with a gym instructor who used to do competitive like stuff and uh, they taught me all the signs and they did it themselves. I mean, I know you look at the neck, you look at the shoulders and the arms are big giveaways. I remember I had a friend, I already told you this story, so I'm, I'll make it really short, but I have a friend who's another YouTuber and then I was with his friends and his friend's friends and we were all in a group and I remember telling my friend, I'm like, you know, your two friends, they, they do stories. He's like, oh no, they say they don't. I'm like, no, I know for sure. And lo and behold, this person that was under the assumption that they never had done it and they had talked about it for years, they finally said, okay, yeah, well, just a little bit, just a little bit to help us. And no, natural gro growth hormone and stuff. I know, okay, I can tell. And what am I on? You tell me. 
We're on the cheese. I love cheese. Da -dun. We love cheese. Da -dun. Wendy's don't got cheese. No, it don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, my God. Cheese, 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 cheese. I love cheese. Well, anyways, um, oh, look at the sun coming down. Yeah, it's currently 530 uh, in the evening here in Florida. And um, I'm excited to eat this with you guys. I'm so excited to eat some yummy Wendy's. And we're going to chit-chat and hang out and just enjoy the feast. You know what I mean? So um, I am feeling good and fresh. And again, the nine hours really did help. Tomorrow is a big day. I have someone coming over to do something very important with me um, about my business. So I'll let you know how that goes. I don't know if I'm going to go because I kind of want to surprise people. I don't, I don't want I give I give away so much. I just can't stop talking. But um Wish me luck for tomorrow. It's a special day. Getting something taken care of and a little something made. And da -da -da. I'm really excited. So that's tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow's Friday. You guys, I'm editing my main channel video. Still. <laughs> Still. <sighs> Let me tell you, I've already put like 15 hours into this video. Like, oh my gosh. People love when I ride around on a scooter. It's a lot of work. Not only doing it, well, whatever. Oh, wait, I haven't told you this. I told my patrons. Okay, my patrons know. So if you follow me there, 18 years or older, um, you can get all the scoop. What is this car doing? All right, let me turn on my app and let me order Wendy's and let's hang out together and enjoy some Wendy's food. Hopefully it's really good. I'm really excited. So here we go. Yay. All right, I'll see you when we get home. And uh, don't forget, you guys, hand sanitizer when you're talking. I sometimes forget. I'll come home and wash my hands, but sometimes like touching the car... Um, oh, where's my, oh, oh, <laughs> uh, I was watching the inauguration. Did you guys watch it? People, um, people use two masks. So that some people have a, a white, like N95 mask, and then they have like a fabric one overnight. N not only just for style, some, some of these females have flowers and purple. It's kind of pretty, I think for like double protection. Although I must say, I read that these do more of a protection than, than those little medical masks that I have been wearing. And I know they sell them in black now, which is more so stylish and sh uh, sleek and chic and whatever. Um, but they don't, they don't really protect you that much, barely at all. Apparently the, the double layer fabric, this is double layer or triple layer? This is double layer fabric. It's so big, but it covers up the double chin. So I feel like I look kind of attractive like this because you would never, I mean, let's be real. If you didn't see my double chin and this is all you saw, am I ugly? Comment down below. Would you say I'm an ugly person if this is all you saw? Hopefully you don't hear me huffing and puffing. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I, 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 all my water weight out of my eyes is gone. So this is what I naturally look like when I don't have water weight. Now, obviously, we still have some chub. And I'll just be, I'm, that might be a little more water. But, um, you know, okay. Key to life, don't overeat. <laughs> okay, so, oh, yeah, I have this here. I need to, I don't even know. Oh, is this the broken one? Yeah, I went with Orlin and I broke. Oh, no, we'll just put this here for backups. Yeah, I have some stuff in there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to turn on my app and we're going to order Wendy's. I'll see you when we get home. Hey, so I just thought I'd come on here and let you guys know a little tip in case this ever happens to you. Um, so I'm like, I can't send, I tried just texting one of my friends and I tried, I just got a message from a YouTuber and then, well now, cause I just, okay, I fixed the problem. And I could, anyways, I turned on my Wendy's app and nothing worked. And then the thing with Orlin, I couldn't get it to work. Well, if you turn off your Bluetooth, that might be a little solution. Cause this has happened before where there's no sound that comes out of my speakers when I do Google maps. And I'm like, why? Like everything's working fine. I try to restart the phone, this and that. Um, yeah, I would do Google Maps and I couldn't hear hear her. She just wanted to talk. I turned off Bluetooth and it works. Hi, so I'm sitting here. Always check your stuff. So they actually made me go to the side because it was a big order, which I understand. Um, it's like two, two huge bags. The receipt's not here. I asked her for the receipt. And she said, she said, oh, well, we'll give you the receipt uh, on the bag, which is our policy, which is fine. I got a big, um, I got a big old, oh my God. I got a big old chili, but I also ordered a small chili and it's not here. I just went through everything and also without my receipt, I can't be sure that this is, I, do, I know off the top of my head I'm missing small chili. I think that's the only thing I'm missing because I do see four fries. One, and then the one, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I'm missing the small chili. There's my fries, cheeseburger, 
cheese for her. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's the only thing I'm missing. So I'm gonna go back around <laughs> and ask for the small chili. Hi, I just had a big mobile order um, and my small chili's not in the bag. Yes. Thank you. We're sorry. Oh, wait, no, I didn't hear that. Cheapers, creepers. Ah, uh, and guess who called? I haven't heard from her forever, and she's back bothering me again. Now, we honestly, we've been talking about some issues. If you saw the end of yesterday, no, the day before yesterday's video, not yesterday's video. Yesterday I was a hot mess express. But the day before that, I talked about um, the legalities of some YouTube, YouTube channels who keep targeting me and they're going down. Um, Nancy! Nancy has been filing paperwork. Okay? She has been filing. Excuse me, shine bright like a diamond. Look at my nails. They're so clean. Yes, they are. Hello, shine bright like a diamond. Thank you. Uh, Anyways, Orlin, come take this, please. I don't feel like getting up. Also, Siri, like I said in the intro, like she's making me mad. Anyways, so I got a lot of food here. I'm so excited. Ooh, hot and steamy. <laughs> Can you go hang this up for me, please? Yeah. I forgot to go hang it up. Uh, I washed them by. Things on your own. I know I'm supposed to, but I'm overweight and don't know why. Well, maybe because you can't stick to Jenny Craig's diet. That's not enough with Jenny Craig. Okay, you guys, I have this, which I've never got before. <laughs> This is a bucket of chili for nine dollars. Quality is a recipe. I'm actually really excited for this one. That. And I actually got some soda. Now it came with it, so I'll just pour it down my toilet. I mean, maybe I have one sip, but I. So I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, if it comes with it. So I, on the app, I was like, what's good for removing stains of your toilet? Coca-Cola. <laughs> it's true. Google it. So we got some um, Coca-Cola for my toilet. <clears throat> Keep it nice and sparkly and fresh. All right. Oh my God, I hope this is enough food. This is $100 worth. Um, I got French fries. This is a medium French fry. Oh, can I try it while it's fresh? Mm. <gasps> mm, it feels so good to eat. I ate yesterday. Oh my God, I can feel how soft and yummy this is. Oh my God. I got some ketchup over here. Cheapers, creepers. Fiddle sticks. Oh, this is really getting out of control. So put these all under here. Condiments will come out over here. Napkins to the front, things in the back. Yeah. Oh, these are all French fries. Okay, let's stick those to the side. Hopefully everything's okay. I literally fasted yesterday. Can you believe it? Oh my God. <gasps> We're gonna call this mukbang after not eating for like 40 hours. Cause yesterday I had nothing, remember? All I had was vegetables, but those don't count. Literally, you guys, I had nothing to eat. Nothing. Oh, cheese fries. Oh, cheese fries. Yeah, oh my God, that'd be a great title. I've always wanted to do that. I've done that in the past, but oh, got my straw. Actually, that's why my skin's so clear. My eyes are so white. It's because I didn't overeat yesterday. All I had was like two pieces of collard greens and a pumpkin. <laughs> Today I have to eat. <clears throat> I have to hurry, it's currently 6 p.m. Here are all my cheeseburgers, okay. When I was a kid, um, there's a guy in my, uh, a boy. Oh, sweet and sour, I never tried that. Um, there's a boy who I used to play with, you know, play, play dates, I was probably like five, six, seven, something around there. And he used to call them cheese boogers. Can I have a cheeseburger? Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. I used to be like, it's pronounced burger, not booger. Sweet and sour, they remembered. This was a good Winnie's experience, except for the fact that they forgot my chili. <laughs> but other than that, oh, there's still more chicken nuggets. You guys, I've noticed that the, um, let me be real, real with you. The spicy chicken nuggets are good and all, but they get very hard very quickly. Whereas the regular ones, they don't get hard. They stay soft and like warm and moist and yummy. Like, it's not even just Wendy's. Um, McDonald's, when they had them, they got they got hard so fast. And then who else has a spicy chicken nugget? Oh, Burger King, same thing. Look at all these burgers. Or should I say burgers? I'm just gonna say, here are my burgers. Here are my burgers. I have my burgers. 
Yay! I'm so excited. We have more food. Or is this all my condiments? Oh, this is just all my condiments. Is this not food? Is this everything I ordered? French fries, french fries, french fry. Yes, yes, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this everything I ordered? Did they forget something that I forgot to check because they didn't give me my receipt? I feel like this is not $100 worth. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, there's a lot of sauce in here. <gasps> Lots of uh, things for the chili. They think this is for like 10 people. No, nope, it's just for me. <gasps> you guys, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh no, well, I hope this is enough food. Okay, let me get the sauce set up. <laughs> I will begin the feast. Here we go. One, two, three. Bam! Yay! Yes! Scooby dooby ooby ooa ooa ooba shooba! We're back home, and shooby doo, we're at home. Shooby doo wop, we right go. Hey, shooby wop, change you a wave oh. And this is hot and steamy. Cause we're eating Wendy's menu. Yes! We're eating basically the whole menu, yes! So in case you skipped the intro, yesterday was a horrible day. Don't watch yesterday's video. If you looked at yesterday's, uh, oh, I have to open up my sauces. Aren't they pretty? <gasps> this is one of the most aesthetically pleasing <laughs> thumbnails ever. You know what? We'll dip it into the chili. So yeah, if you missed my intro, I had to apologize for yesterday's behavior. Don't click on it. Just don't even go there. <gasps> I was a hot mess. <laughs> a hot mess express. Okay, I kind of want to do three big deep breaths. Mmm. I'm gonna have one sip of this. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Let me do my deep breaths because I feel like a little hyper and excited to eat. It feels so good to eat again. Oh my god. Um. So if there's anything worrying you, anything that's a little stressful, anything that might be concerning or fearful or anxiety or depressing or whatever you're going through, you guys. I'm a person too, and I go through stuff too. Yesterday was a really bad day for me, and um, my body was messed up, my mind was messed up. And um, I, I feel a little bit better today. Um, so I just want to do some big, deep three breaths because I feel like we all need it. Um, you know, and people are still nervous about the, you know what, all, us wearing masks. People are very upset by it. People, we have our transition of power with the um, inauguration. I, I have a lot of uh, Democratic friends and um, I have a lot of Republican friends and I have a lot of... Um, conservative friends and liberal friends and I just want you to know we can get through this it's gonna be okay so um at the end of the day it should be fine hopefully but you know what let's create our own inner peace because the best thing to do is to be at peace with yourself that's the only thing you can do there's a big tip for you that's the only thing you can do truly you cannot control the world. You cannot make people do what you want to do. You can't control about the horrible things that happen in other countries. You have to learn to be at peace with yourself. And then your reality, your life is better. And it's worth it. It doesn't mean you're ignorant. It doesn't mean it means that you're choosing to be at peace with yourself. So let's do it. Breathe in anything that's bothering you. Think of it. And when we exhale, imagine it being blown into the wind like with the wind into the sky you know you're on a, a ship and the, the wind's blowing in, into the sail Whew, there it goes so let's do it here we go <clears throat> breathe in keep going as much as you can and now hold it one two three exhale it into the sky into the clouds breathe in deeply here we go Fill your lungs as deeply as you can and hold it, hold it, hold it. And release through the mouth. One last time, breathe in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And out of the mouth. Everything's gonna be okay. And if you can be at peace with yourself, you can do anything. So, <coughs> I, I choked in my own spit. Oh my gosh, edit that out. <coughs> okay, I have some water over here. Because you guys know I don't do soda because I care about my teeth. I care about my health. Okay. <laughs> As I have all this mouth. Let me do my vitamins too. I'm so sorry. 
Han går morgen tre vej imellem. Okay. <clears throat> Let's, here we go. French fry. Mmm. They're soft today. <clears throat> Actually, you know, Wendy's is usually really soft. I'm gonna try it with a little chili too. Mmm. Ouch, it's hot. Mmm. <clears throat> Oh my god. Okay, what do you guys want to do first? There's so much amazingness here. I kind of want to do this. You guys know I love pretzels. Now here's the tip to eating Wendy's my way. <clears throat> to eat Wendy's a good way, this is a tip for you. All you have to do is when you order on the app, click on customize and click on basics. It shows you what it's supposed to come with. Add on some extra sauce. I don't care what it is. Mayo, ranch, smoky jalapeno, maple butter. They have this other sauce. I can't think of it. Oh my god, I added it to everything though. Look at that sauce. That orange sauce and then some white sauce. I'm gonna open it up. <gasps> oh, it's so saucy. So you click on add extra. There's my monster cheese. Oh my gosh. And the pretzel bun. I love pretzels. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. Uh, so that's what you do. It's free. I got a hissy, fence, one, hissy fit once because they didn't have extra sauce. I thought I was paying for it. It turns out, no, it's free. They'll give you as much sauce as you want for free. Whereas other restaurants, they'll charge per squirt. So let me just get into this. I'm talking too much. This is my favorite thing. I'm missing my other prep. I'm missing my other... We're about to drive back. We're about to drive back to Wendy's. I, first of all, this has chicken. I ordered one chicken and one beef. What? Can you bring me my phone, please? I need to check the app to see if- Are you gonna call the manager? I'm gonna speak to them in person, actually. Can you give me my phone, please? Oh, well, let me go for the chicken. I or- Oh my God, it's so good. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Honestly, the pretzel bun really makes this. Oh my god. Now, if you don't like pretzels, <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you. Orland, do you not know where my phone is? I am looking. Try calling it. Why are you calling it? I now that now. Oh, do you think you left it? Hmm. Did you leave your phone somewhere? No, call the phone. It's in the house. I am. I don't know if the sounds are. Oh, it might be in the car. Uh, maybe I didn't take it off the car. You are so so <laughs> unintelligent. Shh. Grab the keys, go downstairs, and get it. One spicy chicken sandwich, one spicy chicken sandwich, one junior bacon cheeseburger, one junior bacon cheeseburger, natural cut fries, natural cut fries, natural cut fries, natural cut fries, natural cut fries one big chili, one small chili, baconator fries, <clears throat> spicy pretzel bacon pub, Dave's triple, medium natural cut fries, medium co Coca Cola, two Tempe's chickens. Okay, so um, that's what it was. They put the wrong meat in there. I got a spicy, spicy, bret, spicy pretzel bacon pub, which is meat. It's 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 cows, and they put chicken in there. But that's okay. It's not worth driving back for the chicken. That's okay. I will live. Life goes on. Click the link down below to follow my cameo, where I will make a special video just for you. We can also message each other too. Link below. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm. <laughs> I was prepared to drive back, but I had no problem doing it, let me tell you. <laughs> mm. 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 
Mm. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's do this. Ooh. That comes with crackers too. They gave me lots of crackers. Oh my God. Chili and crackers. Have you had this before? I don't even like beans, but this is really tasty. Let's open up a sweet and sour. I haven't had one of these from Wendy's forever. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> My mind needs to calm down. I was getting very upset. I was about to turn to a vicious werewolf. Like, oh my god. First they forgot the chili, then they forgot no. I mean they still forgot the right meat, but it wasn't like a whole thing's missing. Man, oh well. It's okay, it was a big order. Mmm. The chicken nuggets are soft too. This this reminds me of Chinese food. Sweet and sour chicken. Oh. Mm. Mm. Here we go. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna do. This is all chili in here. Let me show you. I mean, if you like chili, this is a deal. <clears throat> like you don't feel like making it. I mean, this is so heavy. How much is this? This is so, oh, it's hot and steamy. Ouch, ouch, caution, very hot. Do not microwave this chili. Oh, look at all that chili. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh, hot and steamy too. <clears throat> I like the chili. I, I don't even like chili. Mmm. Mmm. That's so much chili. This is really tasty. Mmm. <gasps> How are you today? I'm really liking the chicken nuggets too. How are you? So you guys, hi, let's do a little story time. Let's let's talk. Well, I don't know, I'm not one sip. You guys know my health is really important to me. Mm. One little sip for you. Mmm. So I slept for oh! If you're if you're wondering about my sheets, I know they're white. No accidents happened last night. That's really good. Good news. Here we go. Good news. <laughs> the sheets are okay. I don't like having white food, <clears throat> but it's just so mentally, it feels so good to get into a white bed. It just does. Like if you went to a hotel and the sheets were like, I don't know, plaid <clears throat> or floral. Even though florals are nice, we all like flowers. It just doesn't feel as like, it doesn't feel, it feels like clean. I don't know. It's the psycho psychology of it. Oh my God, this is really good. For you. Mm. Mm. 
It feels so good to eat again. <clears throat> okay, so. Now I'm gonna do my Dave's triple. Now this, I also ordered sauce that doesn't normally come with it. Like you can see here, the smoky jalapeno. I love it, and look at that meat and cheese. Ooh, the bun feels very soft. Ooh. Smoky jalapeno, Dave's triple. And this is a lot of food too, okay? Here I go. Mm-hmm. 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 Ah! <laughs> I'm barely speaking. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> oh my god. That was really good. <laughs> Do I like this more than McDonald's? I don't know. I like Wendy's sweet and sour much more than, than McDonald's sweet and sour. <clears throat> Dip, but I think I like McDonald's nuggets more. Oh, see, I can't have my perfect place. If McDonald's nuggets came with this sweet and sour sauce, I'd like it way more. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's like China. <laughs> Chinese food. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep this hot and steamy. Keep the lid on there. Okay, so what else do we have to try? Okay, these are the chicken sandwiches. They also come with buttermilk ranch and extra um, maple something. And oh, the cheese fries too. Okay, <clears throat> this has the smoky jalapeno. Bang! I definitely like Wendy's chicken sandwich over <clears throat> McDonald's because <clears throat> they give you the option of adding more sauce. I don't think McDonald's has that option. I mean, you can buy dip, but it's not the same. As it already being there, it's on the sandwich, it's ready to go. <clears throat> so if I have to guess, and I hate saying this because I love Chick-fil-A. I don't know if Chick-fil-A gave me the food poisoning yesterday. I had something too, not yesterday, but the day before. I had that Chick-fil-A feast with you where I mixed all the sauces. <clears throat> I woke up yesterday morning feeling really, really bad. Like the worst I have felt in a very long time. Like I always thought I caught the you know what. I was Googling symptoms. I'm like, oh my God, whoa. I've never felt this before. Or at least it's been a long time. Okay, this is kind of gross, so you can skip over, but I went to the bathroom like 20 times. Maybe 15. 15 times. Definitely more than 10. Definitely more than 10. It could have been 17 or 18 times. <clears throat> I'm sorry if you're eating with me. It was like liquid. It was just like... Psh! And I'm like... Something I ate my body did not like, and I thought, what was the last thing I ate? It was Chick-fil-A. Speaking of being careful what you eat, I was watching this thing with Orland. Do you know, there's a woman who had such bad B12 deficiencies that she was turning to psychotic. 
She was seeing worms crawling on the walls. She was imagining the world tipping upside down. She couldn't speak she, right. She couldn't drive right. She was jittering. She was, she, she looked like she had been poisoned. And um, they're like her, so they're like, let's just give her B12. They injected her, not even just the supplements that I did. Well, I used to do injections too. It's a nutrient that we all need as people, as human beings. <laughs> not even to say. As humans, we all need this nutrient. Well, she, they were giving her the, the, the injections and she still wasn't retaining it. They're like, what's happening to this poor woman? It turns out they did some testing. They looked, they kind of went down the list of what she was eating and they did some panel work and whatever. She had parasites, but a very special type that only comes from raw fish. This lady was treating herself to some sushi a lot. And that's the risk with sushi. It has a parasite that could literally eat your brain, eat your eyes. It, it, you start seeing stuff. She started seeing wiggling worms by just looking. It was the worms behind her eyeball that, oh, it's so, it's disgusting. From sushi, now sushi is raw fish. Uncooked fish has risks. I'm like Orla, but there's people all around the world that eat, oops, uh, I let this sit too long, that's okay. <clears throat> there's people all around the world that eat this all the time, and he's like, yeah, and there are cases every year of people getting it. It's a risk. Where it's like, this is why I avoid sushi, completely. You don't wanna be that person. It happens every year, there's cases everywhere. Horrible. Very scary. So. I wonder with our evolution, if we were able to um, deal with parasites a little bit better, a little bit different than, differently than how we can deal with them now, or lack thereof. We can't deal with them now. <clears throat> but you see other wild animals who get parasites, and that doesn't happen to them like that. Maybe something in our evolution, our body's ability to even deal with them or fight them off or process them or whatever. I'm not an expert. I don't know how you know, all this works, but I was just thinking, you know, what we eat now, <clears throat> Wendy's, <laughs> is so far from natural or healthy or whatever. I think, I think it changed our body's ability to deal with stuff. In my opinion, I think so. Well, so that's the concept, but I know I rarely do sushi anyway. But now, after watching that, I watched it with Orla two days ago. I was like, Ooh. you know what I watched last night before bed? Which you would have thought gave me nightmares. No, I, it made me so, like, <clears throat> was scenes from my 600 pound life. These people are so lost. These people are so lost. And crippled, they're like, and like everything is a crutch. I watched this one lady. She was slapped. I freak strapped, not slapped. Strapped in bed. I forget her name was. Big, big, big woman. Well, they're all big. Okay. She was black. She had short hair. It was just a scene. Her teeth kind of went because it was like she was on like a hospital ambulance bed or hospital bed. So I, the camera was like, you were the camera. And she was like this. Ah, so you could see her teeth like dead in. Her teeth kind of did something funny. <clears throat> oh, she was, oh, the victimhood. Oh, oh, and it was really sad because I saw in the comments, she ended up passing away. And she kept saying, I need help. I need help. I need help. <clears throat> and the doctor on the show saying, we gave you the best team. We gave you a meal plan. They probably even, well, no, she said, well, we couldn't afford it. We couldn't afford the groceries. We can't afford healthy food. Which is, if you're 600 pounds, you're spending a lot of money to keep yourself 600 pounds. Your body has to eat a lot of food to keep it on. To keep it on. I remember Orlin did a diet a couple months ago. He only ate raw fruits and vegetables for like four weeks. And he still posts up his backed up videos or whatever, or pre-recorded, so no one even knew. <clears throat> and I remember he was in a cloud with me, people were like, oh, Orlin's losing weight. Yeah, because he took a month off. Anyways, he only ate, I mean, he didn't starve himself. He was eating about 2,500, 
2,800 calories a day of, fr I mean, probably more than that some days. Like tons of bananas and I mean, that's his thing. He really likes that. <clears throat> that's how he met that type of lifestyle. He was losing a pound a day. He lost like 25 pounds in a month. And he was eating thousands of calories and he was, and Orland's like, yeah. And I was, well, how, how much was Orland? Like 300 pounds. He went down to like 280. Guess what? He's like, those people who were 600 pounds, they could lose a pound a day from <gasps> skipping a meal. They could lose two pounds a day. I mean, half of it's, well, not half of it. A good 10 pounds is at least water. He's like, when the bigger you are, the quicker you lose weight at first. Because you're, you're, it takes so much food to sustain yourself. So if you're 500 pounds, I mean, look at what I eat to sustain my 300 pounds. I mean, yeah, I've gained 100 pounds, but it took four years and hundred no over a thousand mukbangs of shoving in crap these people they're double me they're two of me put together so they're shoving in they have it's physically impossible it's physically impossible for them to stay that large and barely eat i mean everyone's a little bit different some people have thyroid metabol metabolism is a big thing i've always said it's like an algorithm metabolism but still, to be 600 pounds, I mean, that's two of me. <clears throat> and I eat to my heart's content. And this lady's like, oh, I haven't eaten anything. She was clearly lying because she didn't lose a, a single pound in two months. And she's like, I barely ate. I had nothing to eat because I was starving. We didn't, have, we didn't have any money, which makes you sound very sad. But sometimes people say that to get sympathy. And he's like, okay, but you know our number. You know our producer's number. We could have helped you. We could have bought your food. Or we could have, I mean... She wanted this doctor to press a button and for him to just make the weight go away for her. She wanted him to do magic. Mmm. <clears throat> she wanted him to press a button. Make it all go away. She had the biggest meltdown. I think the word meltdown was in the title. <clears throat> it was like... <clears throat> I don't remember what her name was, but... So-and-so has a big meltdown. 600-pound woman. And, um, yeah. I was just like, oh my god. And then I saw in the comments. People were like, oh, she passed away. She passed away a couple months after this. It's just so sad. That show's very, people love to laugh at that show. And there's obviously funny moments. Or entertaining moments like that one where the lady's having a meltdown because she said she's starving and she's literally 600 pounds. But <laughs> it's sad too because something happens in their life to make them that way. And then sometimes too, again, damage metabolism. That's a big thing. And again, it's kind of sometimes not their fault. But there's a lot of things that happen to us that aren't our faults, and you just have to accept it, and it's your job to deal with it. That's life. It sucks, but we all have our own things that we deal with that are not our fault completely, that we still deal with. And the worst part is, it's not even them getting the food, because they can't even drive, they can't even fit in a car, they can't even put a seatbelt on. They, they can't even, they can't, they can't get it themselves. They have an enabler go out and fetch the food for them. That's the only reason they're able to stay that. And the person does it out of love. They do it because <clears throat> they know it makes them happy. I watched this one of a guy. He was like 25, 26. He was living with his dad. He quit his job. He plays video games all day. And his dad buys him food because he loves his son and wants to see him happy. And it's, it, I think what draws people to that show, <clears throat> it's, it's a complex web of all these different reasons, all these different, you know, faults, all these different layers of personality versus nurture, you know, who, maybe their parents, you know, kicked them around or neglected them maybe it's their nature they just got born crazy i mean it's so complex and it's so easy for people to be like oh my god she's she's so fat oh my god he's so fat look at nikocado he just eats he's 300 pounds um 
and there's all these things, you know. I do think sometimes, too, people are working really hard for it. It's like if I ended up on that show, I was like, well, I was adopted when I was a baby, so that's why I'm fat and I can't stop eating because I was adopted. It's like, well, no. <laughs> no, I mean, sometimes I, I've watched some of these episodes where people are, like, looking really hard for a reason. An excuse. I mean, shoot, if I had to lose weight, <clears throat> and I was ordered by doctor now, lose 50 pounds in the next two or three months. You Google it and get the answer. <clears throat> you eat lots of fruit, lots of vegetables. You eat quality protein. You eat some seafood, eat some chicken, eat some beef. And you try to keep the carbs relatively low. And stay And now there's different ways to lose weight. Some people go plant-based, so that doesn't apply. Some people go keto, so that doesn't apply. Some people go... Um, I've seen people lose tons of weight eating a sugar diet. Trust me. <laughs> I've seen people, there's different things, but in general, don't eat fried food. That's the consensus about around most diets out there. Don't eat fried food. Keep dairy to a minimum. I mean, that. besides keto, which kind of like, kind of like yeah, eat a stick of butter. <laughs> Most, and again, you, every diet has its things and it works because it works, because it all comes down to this, the combinations of food. It's not the food itself, it's the, the way it's combined. Keep that in mind because when you go on the diet merry-go-round and you, you research and you watch videos or you experience yourself like, this diet, I lost 10 pounds eating this, and this diet, I lost 20 pounds eating the same thing that I was told not to eat on this diet. There's many ways that work because it's about combinations. I mean, you look at people around the world, look at the blue zones, right? The longest lived little towns and villages, these little areas around the globe who are living beyond 100 years. And if you look at their diets, they're all different. Some of them are eating eggs and fish. Some of them are eating nothing but rice and potatoes and beans, the Costa Rica one. And then you go up in North in Canada and they're eating bacon and some butter and that's it. And then you, and it's just, but you also look at their quality of life too. I think the ones that were eating mostly like carbohydrate based, but not like too much dairy or whatever. They were like still farming and climbing up mountains. They were active. And then you have the ones in China. They're like, oh yeah, she has a beer once a month. Her secret to being 105 is eating one egg a day and whiskey with a sh shot of gin. And she's strapped in a wheelchair. She's just alive. She's just kind of like, she's just there. But she's not climbing up the mountains and farming in Costa Rica. So it's like, again, there's different ways, different things. And everyone's different too. But I just know, uh, if you were told it's time to lose weight, you could. And I'm also speaking mostly about the people who are like, I'm talking 600 pounds, 500 pounds, 800 pounds. Now, if you're 200, 300, I mean, I'm 300. I think what, it's when you get to a point where you're not, when you're immobile, you can't walk anymore. You're, you're wheelchair bound. It's tricky, you know, because I just feel like they're not honest with themselves. And there's people like me who I know I'm overweight. I know why I'm overweight. Um, and I don't care because I have my own reasons. I get rewarded for it. I make money from it. I get famous for it. I support my family for it. I know it's temporary and I also have an end goal. I mean, I, it's kind of like I, I'm in this system for a little bit. Like I, <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to think of other people who are like really overweight. Hungry fat chick. She knows why she's overweight, but she doesn't care. You know, she's doing it because she wants to and she knows. But a lot of these people on my 600 pound life, they're, they're so, they're, they, they, they think that they have the thickest bones on earth. Like they think, oh, it's just my butt. Like they're so deluded. Oh, um, it's just my bones. Well, I tried really hard. It's like, no, they're just not honest with themselves. I don't know. So it's, it's sad. It's kind of a sad show. Uh, if, if there's one takeaway from that show, it's sad. <clears throat> Mmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
Have you guys been hearing about this Trisha Paytas drama? Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, apparently Brylin just kind of <clears throat> addressed it recently. There's something that I kind of want to say, but I was talking to Orlin about this. I'm like, do I even? Because I'm actually proud of myself. For 2020, I stayed in my lane. And it feels really good. And honestly, there's things I can say about everybody. And it's just kind of nice sticking to my own problems, my own mental disorders, my own fights with my family. You know, it just feels better. <laughs> Um, because sometimes people say stuff because they want attention. They get noticed. <clears throat> I mean, there's people who have been, they come out and say this, and they end up, it turns out it's false because they wanted the attention. To Johnny Depp's girlfriend, did she come out and say she was being abused by him or something? And turns out, no, she was the one who was doing crap to him. You know they, they want they want that attention you know <clears throat> and so i don't need attention i get enough attention i don't need to come up here and be like well i need to tell you something about trisha paytas that no one knows that could change your opinion or i know something about jeffrey or shane or ryland or this person or, or i know you know because i've met all of them and i something happened that no one knows that no one need, needs to know you know but <laughs> I just, you know, I also, too, I don't want to burn any more bridges. And I know it sounds like, oh, well, you just want. Because here's the truth. Being in my own dramas over the years, people believe the first thing they hear. They don't hear all the sides. Even if the side's credible for some things, you know, things blend and blur and Different sides have truth each sometimes, or a lot of the time. And I don't know, I just don't. Part of me is like, oh my gosh, people would love to hear this. <clears throat> people would be like, holy crap. And honestly, it's just like, on the other hand, it's like, you know, she's not asking me to say anything and I don't, I'm not even talking to her about any of this. Mm, I just I think part of being an adult too is not taking everything to the internet that's something that I learned from last year just like okay you're mad at someone that ghosted you oh well you can send them angry texts or be like rah, 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 rah. I'm gonna expose them blah, blah. even if you don't do it they they might retaliate and then boom it's even worse than it ever had to be because now they're lying on you or this and that or you know the thing with Trisha goes to me like I think I told you I was like it felt good to put that out there but then afterwards I'm like you know what it wasn't even necessary because as you grow up you learn that things are going to happen all of the time but not everything needs a public spotlight. Not everything needs their story told. Not everything needs to come out and say their feelings, my feelings. Well, my and it's just like I've done that, and it's just like you know. <clears throat> In the moment, people are like, "Yeah," with the popcorn. But then down the road, they look back and they're like, "Oh my god, really?" Um, so I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything because. I mean, I don't care enough. And it doesn't matter because it also, I don't want to be seen as, well, you're just trying to like put your, your butt, butt your nose in here. Doesn't even concern you. And it doesn't. Okay. So. Oh, well. Here's, a, here's one thing you learn in life too. Something could have happened to you, or you could have you could have experienced this with this person, and he could have told you this, and he could have texted you something strange, or da da da, or blah, blah, blah. you can experience stuff with people, and not let others know. But you have to say yourself if they're likely doing that to you, they're likely doing it to others too, and you don't have to be that person. to make a scene or anything because someone else will <laughs> someone else will 
or they'll get caught red-handed. And then you don't have to say anything. This happened recently, actually, with somebody in my life. It was... I, don't, I can't even find the right word to describe this person. I can't even, t I can't even think of the right word. Or I can think of a bunch. <laughs> just mentally not, just mentally not well. Mentally, just, it, it, it was, it was extreme mental disorder. On top of, on top of just like extreme toxicity and blackmail. Anyways, long story short. I don't even need to give people the time of day sometimes because they're going to, People will g learn who they are over time in their own way. You don't even have to notice. You don't have to listen to anything. You don't even have to acknowledge. It just, oh, everyone's kind of seeing who you are, who I saw who you are. Oh, my God. Now they can sit and imagine just kind of what perhaps I could have gone through because they're dealing with, you know what I mean? So, like, like Trisha was saying, oh, she never brought up the fact that something happened with Shane or Jeffrey. This is an example. I'm not saying I agree with it or disagree with it, but sometimes it, it comes to light in a different way through somebody else and you were just sitting back mind your business you forgot about the person you don't think about the person and you're like oh my god that happened oh my god well that's oh see they're they're getting karma and i don't even have to do anything it's just happening all oh, by itself you know what i mean and that's kind of like <clears throat> i've experienced this a handful of times and it's just the best because now you have more karma points you're not being all petty and trying to get people you're just kind of just like I'm in my lane this year, you know, 2020. We're in 2021 now, but happy first week of, well, second week of January. I'm in my lane and it feels good because that's how I was able to pull off what I do. Look at this channel. We're about to hit half a million. How many subs do we have now? 400 something. Did, I, did we hit half a million already? The channel's not even a year old. Five hundred eighteen thousand, and I have one hundred thirty million views on this channel. Would I have accomplished that by being worried about exposing this person or bringing truth to this or telling people what I feel and think from five years ago or this this is what I felt last year da, 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 or they said this to me, you know, thirty seven months ago. I just need to tell it. Like you, you get in your own way of not only your own happiness but your own success. Because it's fun and games for the first moment, and then they leave, and they're just, they'll just they remember you for that. And uh, fortunately for me, with that Trisha Pace exposing her thing that happened, um, people didn't remember me just for that. I mean, a lot of people do. And that has something to do with something that happened that I kind of want to say, but I'm not going to <laughs> with certain people. Oh, my gosh. But anyways, um, so that's kind of how I see it. It's not even... Because there's other people who have a lot of time that they don't care about their own success or they don't care if they're unhappy. They, they just like to expose, expose, expose. I'm thinking about some drama channels that are just drama. Oh my God, their whole life is re revolved around watching people's problems. I mean, the, ex the exhaustion. Oh, the exhaustion. I mean, I obviously have the people that I pay attention to, but if Tana Mojo was in a scandal last week, I can't tell you what that was about, and I don't care to know what it was about. I, mean, I don't know. I don't have the time or the day or the energy or the availability. I am booked, honey. I don't have the availability to sit and pay attention to what this person said, this person cheated, this person s snapped this photo, and this person, they lied about this, and this person, they did it. Oh my gosh. I'm <clears throat> That's what therapists go through. <laughs> and you're not getting paid a therapist's salary, so have fun with that. <laughs> like, no. Um, anyways. Hmm. People find out in their own way, and then you can just sit back and be like, oh. Well, I have to make a whole spectacle and, sit and waste my energy subtract from my goals and my career and my hustle and my money and my time and my my health i mean shoot when you're stressed you're gonna start lo losing your hair i've been losing some hair recently i'm talking about a little bit here and there <clears throat> i just ordered something i can't wait to try it arrived today but i'm not gonna tell you yet i'm not gonna tell you what it is because uh, I want to try it for a little bit. Now, apparently, it's going to take three months to even see something. They said five to six months and before you really notice if it worked. Now, obviously, my ha my head, it looks thick with hair. You know, it's there. 
But I have noticed a change, especially in the back, and then like a little piece right here. I've, I've talked about it a few times. That could have been from me worried about people. Like, why do I have to worry about people? Half of them are strangers. Anyway, like, people? Like, who are you? Like, I don't need to worry about people. I really don't need to worry about people. My job is not to be worrying about you, or you, or you, or what she said, or what he thinks. My job is not to think of people. <laughs> it's not, I mean, in a sense, as a uploader, entertainer, YouTuber, daily mukbanger, I mean, yeah, but... No. So, anyways, I just thought of this because I was like, I literally talked to Orlin. And I'm like, should I say? Because he knows. He's like, oh my god. Because this explains a little bit of something, something. <sighs> mm. And I think it would change how people see things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, I, I forgot about it. Because it involves um, last year when I met Jeffrey and Shane and Trisha. So, I mean, a month goes by and I'm done thinking about it. I made a brand new channel and got 130 million people to click on it. So, like, I'm not thinking about... <laughs> I'm not thinking about what happened. But I thought of it now because I just watched one of her videos. I'm like, oh, oh, wait a minute. And I was like, oh my God, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, well... Well, awkward. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I'm not even, it felt good to be in my, na my lane last year. It felt so good. And it felt, it felt really good. I do want, well, I don't think they're going to, never mind. I was gonna say, I wonder if they're gonna acknowledge Trisha or come out with a little more details than what Ryland said of like, well, we didn't know. I wonder, but I don't think so because they didn't address anything else. And why would they, why do they need to? And I say that because, I mean, Shane could quit tomorrow. <clears throat> you know, I'm sure he's, he's just fine. So <clears throat> the need's not there, but it's also, it comes down to like, a friend of 12 years. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, I can't, I, I'm not even going to give a hint of what I'm, I don't want people like, oh, he's definitely siding with Shane. Oh, he's definitely siding with Trisha. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm making it very neutral. If you can tell, I'm just like, well, Jeffrey, well, Shane, you know, no. Making it very neutral. If, and if you think you know, you don't know. You don't know. I mean, who would be, able, it's like guessing, <clears throat> it's like g guessing, my best friend's mother's cousin's bank account and social security. You can't just guess that. Like, it, it, you don't, there's no clues, okay? Uh. Well, this was very delicious. I'm gonna have one more bite of the chicken, which I <clears throat> really liked. Mmm. In the Dave's trouble. <laughs> mm. Mm. They're both ways up. My favorite was the pretzel because I love pretzels, but. Mm. I saw in the news that they're trying to make lab-grown meat. I support that. Cows are delicious, and I feel like they have nutrients that are good for you. And in moderation, of course, not like how I do it, but they're the worst things for the environment, you guys. 
We have to do something. I mean, ideally, like, yeah, we all eat less, but you can't force people to do your idea, your ideals. You can't. That's the problem I have with a lot of politics, which I'm not going to get into, but some things are great novel ideas, but you can't just make people do anything. You really can't. People will always do what's the worst thing. So you have to make an option that allows people to do the worst thing, to keep doing what they're doing, but that's a little bit better for everyone else that it affects. And I think lab-grown meat, for the people that want to keep eating Wendy's and McDonald's like me, you know. The best solutions require the least change sometimes. And the best solutions require, I mean, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. And people, oh, well, my health, ooh, well, that's not good. Well, this isn't good for you either. These cows were pumped with God knows what. I mean, not specifically Wendy's, I don't know. But hypothetically, you know, fast food in general. I mean, the cows are not eating what they're supposed to eat. They're five times the size they're naturally supposed to be. Cows have been bred to be these big, fat things. They're really not supposed to be naturally. Look at China. China, they used to call them water buffaloes. They were muscular, very different. We bred them over and over and over to be a certain. But they're not even natural. So don't even come with the whole natural thing. Um, they're eating diets. They're not supposed to be. They're, I mean, a bunch of cows together, what happens? They get sick. How do you prevent? I mean, we get sick as humans. You think cows don't get sick? They get sick. And then you're eating sick animals. So you have to pump them with a bunch of different stuff. Well, they, when you then you eat it yourself. I mean, it's just kind of how it works. So yeah, we all lived in a fantasy world where we could all afford grass-fed, no hormones, free range, and only had one slice of beef a week or whatever. I mean, um, but that's never going to happen. So you need to give a solution that's already in the system that we have that people have to make the least change for. That's what I think. And that could kind of, that philosophy, be applied to politics. But. It, some of it could, some of it couldn't. And I'm not going to tell you what I think. Because that, so that solution doesn't always apply to everything, I think. And applies to some things, I think. And that's that. So goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Thank you for watching me. Listen, watch, listen to me. Okay. <laughs> this was a much better day than yesterday, though. That's for sure. I had a good day today. I had a really good day. I have all this food. Come over, you guys. I got a hundred dollars worth of Wendy's just chilling here. But this was great. Oh no! My new Walmart shirt. I want more water. I really don't want soda. I'm gonna put this in my toilet. When these rewards, download our app and create an account to get points. Reward yourself. Scan the code, download the app, earn the points. They're gonna track you. I saw that again on Twitter. Someone's like, I don't want the vaccine, it's gonna track me. Uh, you're typing that from the biggest tracking device that you have in your house right now, your iPhone. <laughs> so, from your purchase history to your bank account numbers, to your passwords, to your location, to your text messages, to your contacts, to everything, your browsing history, your photos. Some apps are able to tap into your photos without even telling you. And it says that in the fine print, and no one reads it, and they download it and they act surprised. I mean, that's the world we live in, so don't say anything about tracking <laughs> when you've been tracked long and hard already. <gasps> Have you heard that? It's true. Hmm. Wendy's wants to see my eggplant. Yes, they do. They want to see my cottage cheese butt. They're going to see it, that's for sure. I'm going to be like, what's on his phone? The Wendy's, the Illuminati, ooh. 
Oh, ew. Why is it so wrinkly? Ew. Ew, it's hairy. Have fun, Wendy's. Enjoy. <laughs> <clears throat> well, goodbye. I'll see you on Patreon, hopefully 18 years and older, link down below. I'm gonna go live stream. Talk to you guys. But my, my, my legs still do feel like dead weights so though. There's something about my legs, they do feel very heavy. That's not good, I don't know what it's from. Also feels like my knees are about to give out. They feel very, very heavy, like anchors. That's, that's not normal, I don't know what's going on. It's my health. Great health. Merry Christmas, everyone. And a big thank you to my patrons for supporting these videos. And a huge thank you to my executive producers, Violetta R. Rainbow Star, Jody, and Jamie Baby Cotto. If you'd like to become a producer for Christmas and help support my channels, or if you just want to join the community to see what else I'm posting, come on over to my Patreon by clicking the link down below. You must be age 18 or older. And for something even more personal, gift yourself an eight minute long personalized video just just for you. Or book a video for someone and surprise them this holiday season. It makes a great Christmas present. We can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to watch even more content from me, come follow my Patreon. But if you want a personalized video or just want to talk, come over to my Cameo. Patreon and Cameo are both linked down below. Thank you so, so much. Merry Christmas. Bye.